All right, hey buddy, and this is John. And today we're going to be continuing on with our grotto. This is the AI, so um, we have three different types of bad guys. So I'm going to be doing three different types of AI, starting with easy, basic, it works, and then moving up to a more advanced AI. And then the last AI is kind of unique because it is, I believe, a flying dude. So we're going to have a guy who's going to be literally flying about and uh, shooting at random intervals and you know then attacking you uh, so this AI is gonna I I'm gonna do it in two videos so you guys can see everything so it's not too long and all that type of stuff uh, but you guys can watch each each video only covers a certain amount of stuff so it's easy to grab hold of okay so let's go over the sprite sheet for the enemy um, uh, I'm also going to be putting this down below guys so you guys can download it and check f uh, for yourself what I did, uh, change up the sprites and just play around with it. So something I did with the actual character was when we last off, off the actual player could only shoot in the right direction no matter if he was facing left or right. So I fixed that and I did that by Okay, so uh, what I did was I added a global event and I said it's left. So left zero equals zero. If, um, let's see, the right button is pressed, then it's it stays zero. But if the left button is pressed, it adds one. What this does, it adds a check event. So when he presses A, that indicates, okay, in which direction is he actually pressing? So it's going to check and see, okay, if he is pressing, uh, if am, uh, what do you call it? The uh, ammo. Okay, I have these extra added events. So if A is pressing, we have to uh, insert insert another condition. So okay, you're pressing A. You're gonna fire every 0.5 seconds, but are is left equal to one if it is we're going to shoot minus 400 it's going to shoot in the left or uh the uh left or right direction and same with the other one okay so uh yeah as regular 400 is going to shoot in the right direction minus 400 is going to shoot in the left direction so it's just checking that and saying okay now we're just going to reverse bullet speed to minus 400 so that we can shoot in each direction uh, and then also uh, this is the AI section but we're also going to go into the player ammo so you're going to do the pickups the um, maybe buying stuff not really sure on that bit it wasn't really in the storyline it's basically just collecting stuff uh, and then you have a HUD and everything okay now enemy AI I try to make it clean for you guys so you can check it all out. Okay, so we have enemy hurt by bullets. That's pretty much already done. And then we have enemy AI. Okay, so we have something called line of sight. And you're going to literally just... I didn't put it on the character himself. Because remember, he has to face left or right. So what I did was I uh, added some base... Uh, I just inserted a basic sprite and then I just colored it some bland colors they're going to be invisible in the actual video game but you are, you want to see them and what each one does is it d indicates which angle the character is looking at so it's going to flip the character so they're going to reference the character and say hey I need you to look this way I need you to look that way uh, so it has line of sight to player set the uh, monster mirrored and on the other one it says has line of sight to the character set mirrored now I'm gonna there's something you have to uh, listen to guys okay uh, you see this little arrow it's pointing to the right and this one's pointing to the left you want that because that's where the cone is looking at think of this as his cone from his head or uh, in this case yeah it's shooting out from the uh, this section and it's literally just looking it's like on a top-down shooter his on his head think of a cone coming out from his head that's his line of sight um, I really wish this engine had a random uh, basically in copper cube they have a random movement 
where he'll randomly move in uh, a certain direction for so many seconds, pause there, do something, and then go something like this. Uh, they may have one. I'm looking for the forums for it. At this point, I'm just creating my own random movement, uh, which is basically a um, a sign scene, whatever that is. But we can also use pathfinding, and we can just put two dots in the center, uh, general location, and he will just kind of like bounce off each one. Also, we can add invisible little sprites and he can be attracted to it so he'll walk toward it and then he'll rotate and, and then walk toward another character uh, the other block so those are some ideas that I'm thinking of so on line of sight he's going to be mirrored he's going to spawn some bullets because remember he has line of sight to the character and his uh, his distance for line of sight is a range of 400 I'm actually going to minimize it to about 100 to 200, so we have that's uh, 180. I need to move that to 90. Okay. So what happens is, and we're going to play this real quick so we can go over it. Is I'm going to see he now has line of sight of the character. Boom, boom, and he has it for some weight for some distance because remember as long as he has line of sight he's going to shoot so boom he suddenly has line of sight now he doesn't now he does now he doesn't same over here see now he doesn't have line of sight because there's a block there now he does have line of sight because there's that cone so we have to actually work on it to where it's more streamlined so maybe a 45 degree angle so it's more normal because see now he has sight and what we're gonna have to do is uh, make the bullets that he's shooting this ricochet off these blocks so our line of sight works we have to edit the bullets and uh, we have to edit the character so uh, he doesn't shoot it so much because it's the fireball. I'm pretty sure he can't just like chain launch a bazillion of them. So that's some stuff that is in this uh, simple AI. In the next video, we're going to have uh, basically him walking about. He's going to be able to shoot at you. Um, I really don't want him, uh, for the character in the game, I don't want him w walking about long distance, so pretty much uh, from this block right here um, to about this block over here, Let's look. Uh, so right over here to over here is pretty much his distance, which is pretty big anyways, but as soon as he gets a, um, as soon as he has low health, he's going to try to get away as far as possible from you. And then he's going to just literally just bombard you with uh, flame balls. So, it, like I said, this is the simple AI. It's mainly it's mainly for just like basic enemies. And then in the next enemies, we're gonna have a more advanced AI system. Um, and then he's going to, and then from there, we're going to actually move on to a flying enemy, which is kind of be the more advanced. AI system and after that we're going to just basically finish this game with the health pickups the picking up the items for your damaged ship and then uh, maybe a, a big boss battle and then learning how to upload it to the Android store Amazon Android and then a couple other places so hopefully you guys you in like this video I know it was kind of short I want to keep the AI videos uh, simple so you guys will not I want to keep them short enough to where you guys can go process everything, watch it a bazillion times so it's not super long. And then in the next one, we're going to wrap this guy up. And then in the next one, I want to keep the two videos and then the advanced AI, again, two videos. So I'm going to keep it like each little section pretty short. And then we're just going to wrap up the level creation, the pickups, everything pretty quickly. So you guys can have like the full file for you guys to be able to just play around with. So remember guys hit the like and subscribe button. It does help out a lot. Also guys if you want me to play any video games I'm going to have the uh, 2DS is actually done being modded. So 
uh, back in June, I had ordered a 2DS to be uh, for me to have a 2DS capture card. It's finally done, so they're shipping it. So hopefully that will be here in the next two weeks. So please, if you could uh, support uh, those series, I'm trying to do some Spider-Man and some uh, Links, maybe. No idea on that. Also, Hail is out, and I'm so tempted to get an Xbox One and do some Halo gameplay. But I don't know if you guys are actually going to be liking liking that or just stick to the occasional walkthrough and just mainly game tutorial. So quick video and update on that. Hopefully guys you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.